So do you want to know who owns the domain? Or maybe you own the domain and just forgot who you registered it with? If either of these questions are the ones you have, then this video is for you. Hey, my name is Steve Vick. I am with Web907, and on this channel, we help businesses build their online presence. Today, we're just going to go over a really simple task, something that I actually have to do quite a bit. Often, I'll get a new client who owns a business, and they'll just forget who they registered their domain with. And we need that information so that we can point the domain to their new website that we're making. Or we often get nonprofits who just don't even know who registered the domain, so they don't even know who it is that bought it. So they have no way of accessing the domain because that person has the password and they need to know who that person is. Well, if you have this question, who owns it and where they registered it, let's go over to the computer and let's dig in. All right, so this is actually a pretty simple task. So you wanna go to whois.com, right here, whois.com. And you're gonna see when you come here, there's actually two places to enter domains. Don't use this one here. This is actually to buy a domain. So um, if you're looking to buy a new domain, you go here. You wanna go up here and you wanna type in your domain name or the domain name that you're looking for information on. So let's do a simple one. Let's go in here. We're just gonna to go to a newsminer. Com. So what we're going to do here is we're going to see who owns the domain and what company it's registered with. All right, so this is quite a little bit of information here, but basically here's the domain name. They registered it with Network Solutions. That's a company that is allowed to register domains. And you can see when it's registered on, when it expires. So it expires in 2024 and when they last updated it. And you also see their name servers. So this is where it's hosted. If you scroll on down, you can actually see who the registrant is. In this case, it's the Fair Rates Delay News Miner. It gives you their street address, their phone number, and um, a contact email. So if you're looking to figure out who registered your domain, this is a great way to do it, right? Here's your contact information. It maybe is a name that you recognize. And you're like, oh, it was, it was John who registered it. Let's contact him and figure out how to access our registrar. Or maybe you need to know who registered it. That information is here. But there's another scenario here. So let's go back to the computer. Okay, so here we are back at the Who Is homepage. And this time we're gonna look for uh, another domain. We're gonna go to ASE Bailey's. And we're gonna do a Who Is There. Great, so again, this gives us some good information. This tells us who it's registered with, which is two cows. It tells us when it expires and when it, when it was registered at. Um, but if we scroll on down, we're gonna see that it doesn't give us any data, right? You're gonna see here things redacted for privacy. So when this happens, it basically means that the person who bought this paid for privacy, right? When you buy a domain name, your information is public, but you can pay an extra 10 bucks every year to have your information redacted and so that it shows up like this, so that your name, address, phone number, and email doesn't show up in the registry, right? Domains are property and they're actually monitored by ICANN, I-C-A-A-N-N or something like that. I forget, it's like the international conical address of do someone who oversees domains, right? And if you sell domains, you need to be registered with them. So you are a registrar, right? And once you're a registrar, you will show up here, like Two Cows shows up, or GoDaddy's a registrar, um, Bluehost is a registrar. But the owner, the person who owns it, can have their information redacted if they want privacy on it. And you may want to do this. Um, I do it for some of mine. I, sometimes I don't. Um, one of the main reasons is maybe you just don't want spammers calling you up. As soon as you get registered, people are going to ask you to renew your domain with them. Um, so sometimes it's in your benefit just to prevent all those spam emails you're going to get from all the people trying to have you renew with them instead, right? Or sell you a website. Oh, you just bought a domain name. Buy a new website. And they're just they're going to search these registers and find those people. So if you redact your information, you'll avoid doing that. In any case, that is how it's done. So if you're looking to find out who owns the domain you want, you can actually go to whois.com. And if their information is there, you could contact them and ask them, you know, are you going to keep this domain? It's the name of our business. Can we buy it from you? Um, I've actually done that before and have been successful in buying domains off of people who had registered a domain that I wanted. Or in most cases, it's just typically finding out who do we register this with so that we can get access to our domain so that we can point it to the new server our website's hosted on or something like that. But in any case, if you want to find out who owns it and where it's registered, go to whois.com, type in the URL in the uh, top bar here, and you'll get the information that you need. All right, folks, thanks for watching that video. Hey, if you got something out of this video, be sure to give it a like below. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.